Very happy to meet you at the launch of the Celerio uh, in Hyderabad. Uh, we conducted an exclusive preview at the Auto Expo yesterday in Greater Noida in Delhi. And uh, today we are reaching out to you in your city to showcase the new offering from Maruti Suzuki. Maruti Suzuki has been a leader in creation of new car segments in India since the last 31 years. From India's first truly affordable family car, the Maruti 800, to the premium hatch, Swift. Not only does, not, not only does Maruti Suzuki innovate, but it also leads all the segments it makes. The Celerio has been designed with specific focus on the Indian market. Today, Indian families are looking for a vehicle that meets all their life's expectations, be it the morning commute to office, evening shopping and parties, or drive to your favorite weekend getaway. But wherever you go, these days, traffic is something which kills your energy in changing gears. Though we cannot make traffic easy for you, but we have made Celerio with an easy drive technology which will make your driving experience easy. With its stylish young looks, K-Next engine technology, spacious interiors, great gizmos, vibrant color variants, India's first auto gear shift car comes with an incredible mileage of 23.1 km per liter. Celerio is surely set to set the markets and roads on fire. With Celerio's launch, we start a new chapter in Maruti Suzuki's success. The pricing of the Celerio will be an important part of its appeal. And you'll find that it is priced in a way that it appeals to the Indian customer even more. Uh, we have a lot of capacity to sell uh, uh, and we have a lot of capacity to make. So, Pardon. Yeah, so today uh, Maruti Suzuki is uh, operating at almost 65% capacity utilization of our plant. So we have enough capacity to make and we are here to cater for the customer need and the customer requirement. So uh, whatever the customer needs, we will be able to cater for it. It's across all models. Gurgaon and Manesan, our total capacity is 1.5 million. And today uh, combined uh, the domestic and export market, I mean, uh, Volume is about 1.1 million, so that's about uh, roughly a, a little above 65%. Uh, this is our first uh, uh, step in our uh, uh, making the two-pedal technology more affordable. Uh, till now, if you see the automatic transmissions which are being sold uh, within Maruti's stable also, they are pure automatic transmissions with a torque converter. The price is about... Uh, at least 1 lakh rupees more than a manual transmission. And there is also a dip in the fuel efficiency because of the type of uh, you know, technology which is there. This is a manual transmission vehicle on which we have mounted a hydraulic actuator and it is controlled through a, a transmission control unit and it is easy, uh, easy to maintain, very reliable and the most important part is that it does not have any deficiency as far as fuel efficiency is concerned. So it gives the same fuel efficiency as a manual transmission car, and that's 23.1 kilometer per liter. And the ease of the drive. So there is no clutch pedal in this. The, the gears uh, change automatically. We have a car which is standing outside, and we will be uh, you know, uh, you know, happy to explain uh, more of uh, the features to you uh, as we go along. Yeah, this is this is our first uh, uh, foray into this segment. We want to see how the market uh, accepts it. We need to educate the customer we, uh, on the two-pedal technology and make them uh, understand it, experience it. And yes, definitely, if you know the experience is good and people have uh, give us good feedback, there is a possibility that we would look at other segments also. Uh, uh, what I would like to say here is that uh, Maruti Suzuki and all other manufacturers uh, who are who are making cars in India are meeting the Indian, uh, uh, you know, uh, safety standards and emission standards, which are 
uh, uh, mandated by the government of India, and without that, we cannot sell these vehicles. There is a crash test on these vehicles also, which is done, which is done at 48 km per hour, and there is a steering intrusion uh, check which is done, and that is conducted by ARI. Okay, and so all vehicles uh, undergo this test, and they have to pass this. The next step in the progression, which is there, is the offset norms, which is under discussion with the government. And the government has, you know, is uh, uh, regulated that, and maybe sometime in 2017, the offset norm is likely to come. And that is dependent on the test facilities which are there. Now, that is tested at 56 km per hour. Okay. Now, the global NCAP report, which has come out recently, it is one level higher than even the European regulation. Okay. And that is being tested at 64 km per hour. So it is uh, another way to test and assess cars and to tell. And, but that is something which is a European way or any other way, any other country. Also, India has a, a requirement to put India on the wheels. There is a mobility requirement today for the Indian customer. And we have to make vehicles which are uh, required to be uh, run on the Indian road conditions, in the Indian traffic conditions. So looking at all of that, the government has, you know, has a roadmap to make the uh, safety standards. And the Indian uh, new car assessment program also has been, uh, uh, is, is going to be uh, unveiled in the next uh, two or three months. The Joint Secretary, MORTH, the Ministry of Road Transport, is uh, is on record that it will come out in the next three months and so obviously there is a progression of uh, safety emission technologies which will come in the in the market and we will be meeting all those norms so, uh, in the indian uh, market uh, the i think the total penetration is less than five percent uh, the the share of the automatic uh, is less than five percent okay and uh, it's our endeavor through this uh, offering and through this initiative to make a two-pedal technology uh, more affordable. And one of the reasons for that is that why the low percentage is there, even though people want to have the uh, advantage of having a, a, you know, a clutch uh, without a clutch pedal and uh, automatic gear shifting, the reason is very simple. It is not affordable and it has an impact on the fuel efficiency. And also the maintenance costs uh, the, are higher. So that's a, a notion which is there in the customer, and that's why the penetration is so less. And we are expecting that with this kind of innovative technology which we have brought, and at the price point which we have bought, we feel that the two-pedal technology is going to uh, you know, get penetrated more. And we expect that as people experience it, uh, you know, as I have experienced, and if I drive this car for six months, it will be very difficult for me to go back to a manual transmission because of the comfort and convenience it gives and there is no penalty as far as the fuel efficiency is concerned.